very first time um, going into the city by myself, or not even, I'm already in the city, but like walking around the city by myself. I don't want to say that out loud because <laughs> you have to be hyper vigilant. It's like, yeah, this is me walking around the city. It's fucking nuts. I'll show you my outfit today. It's really cute. <laughs> This is um, I think day three Eileen of San Francisco and we did a number of things. Um, we tried the grocery store, we went to Macy's, all the perfect things. But yeah, I think I just did that to explore the city. And also check out SF Fashion. But yeah, so far so good. I feel super amazed at everything. And I hope I never lose the sense of wonder I have for this city. It's really cool. Um, Look how far you can see. We got good news and bad news in the state today. We've had this coronavirus. Then our number of coronavirus tests. Ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? Because it comes say from it's China. Racist. It's not racist at all. No, not at all. It comes from China. It's safe physical distancing. Uh, the new public health order that we're announcing will require San Franciscans to remain at home with exceptions only for essential outings. morning and I am here in the middle of San Francisco and it's fucking empty. This is like scary. Well I'm I'm on a walk. I really feel almost out of hope to be honest. Right now we are at 17th and Valencia. We've got a crowd on their knees chanting hands up don't shoot. Market Street, we witnessed several people going inside, smashing the storefront windows. At around 9 o'clock, San Francisco police declared that this gathering was an unlawful assembly. And then uh, shortly after that, we were in the mix. We were with the crowd. And then we witnessed uh, some objects being thrown towards the police officers. And then that's when uh, some pepper balls were fired back by the police again another announcement that it was an unlawful assembly then threatening anyone in that area that did not disperse we decided to kind of go away from the crowd and then uh, made our way back here towards union square <laughs> It's a lot of energy trying to console yourself and then also trying to diagnose yourself. 
I know that it's pretty prevalent kinds of feelings I'm, I'm going through right now and it's uncanny the timing I had moving from Guam to San Francisco and then being forced into lockdown which is totally what we needed I'm not against it it's just trying to cope with these feelings of uncertainty and and trying to find hope again is what I have to deal with and trying to navigate this by myself. The skyline of San Francisco looking more like an image from Mars. The orange glow from wildfires burning miles away, shrouding the city's landmarks, the smoke blocking out the sun. I was wondering what time it was, and then I looked outside, and it looked like doomsday. I mean, you could tell something is horribly going wrong, and as far as going to work and breathing in all this, this pollution is definitely not healthy for us as in the Bay Area. You know how they say the coronavirus is bringing out feelings of anxiety 10 times worse? Maybe in an ideal environment, would have had like roommates to help cope, you know, commiserate with, but I don't. And I don't know if staying that much longer here was worth it. These moments of isolation made me realize how resilient I am, that I am worthy, that I am talented, and I am strong. Um, but a life decision right now is like, I think I want to go back home.